I want to talk about this. I know I've went live a couple times today, but I got to talk about this. The Lord just dropped this on my spirit when I was praying. You guys see I've got a huge basket of laundry back there. Now, I don't know about you, but man, the Lord has had to forgive me for a lot of things. I've made a lot of bad decisions in my life. I messed up. I made wrong choices. I'm not the kind of person that goes around just, you know, blaming other people for, you know, why I didn't have this. I didn't have a father. I didn't have that. I just say, man, thank you, Lord, for forgiving me. Thank you, Lord, for giving me a fresh start. Now, check this out. Big pile of laundry behind me. All of us need to do some laundry at some point. And if you don't do laundry, you're going to stink. So we all got to go and we got to wash our clothes at some point. And it's the same thing with Jesus Christ. He's had to forgive all of us for something. None of us are exempt from sin. So my brothers and sisters, what I simply want to encourage you today is don't feel guilty about enjoying the fresh start, the blessing, the life that God has given you. All right. If the Lord has forgiven you of your sins and your past, never let some self-righteous religious person make you feel guilty or make you be in a position where you don't don't enjoy the life and the freedom that God has given you by trying to bring up your past in the present. If God has forgiven you, you are forgiven. He whom the son has set free is free indeed. That means that you have the freedom to be blessed. You have the freedom to enjoy your life and have life and life more abundantly. You don't have to feel guilty about being blessed. You don't have to be, feel guilty about being loved. You don't have to feel guilty about a financial blessing. You don't have to feel guilty because other people are not getting blessed. You don't know their hearts. You don't know what they got going on. Maybe they're not blessed because God sees that their heart isn't right. So don't you dare feel guilty. Don't you dare walk around and act like you have to act like you're not happy about what God is doing in your life. We all have laundry. We all have sin. All right. I'm about to go do this laundry. I got to wash it up. It's a humongous pile. And yes, some of us have done some things in this life that you know, we regret. There's people who are in jail for murder. There's people who are in jail for molestation, rape. There's people who are racist and prejudiced. But let me tell you something. God can forgive them all and there's room at the cross for them. So don't you dare hold their past against them. If he's removing our sin, as far as the East is from the West, they have freedom. They have liberty to be everything that God has called them to be, to operate in every position that God has for them, to get every promotion that God has for them, to have every blessing that God has for them, and they don't have to apologize. They don't owe you an explanation of why they're blessed. Go ask God if you're worried about them being blessed. And I say this all the time. If you're upset when you see your brother and sister get blessed, you lack faith and you need to be delivered from envy and jealousy because someone who really believes and trusts that God is the source of their resources and that he's no respect of person, you don't get envious when other people are blessed. But if you see another individual get blessed and you start feeling like, oh, it should have been me or, oh, they don't deserve that, you lack faith. And the Bible says without faith, it is impossible to please God. So yes, you guys know my testimony. God has forgiven me of a lot of dirty laundry and a lot of dirty baggage. And I will Will never allow any man to stop me from getting everything that God has for me because they feel that I'm not qualified or they feel that I'm not entitled to it. When the Lord says that when I got saved, I'm a heir to the promise of Abraham. Some of you are going to allow people to talk you out of your blessing, make you feel like you're not worthy enough, that you're not smart enough, you're not good enough, that you just got to beg and you just got to do all these things. And the reason why they do all that is because they're not experiencing the blessings of God and favor of God in their life, probably because their heart isn't right. So my brother and sister, don't apologize to anyone for being blessed. Don't apologize to anyone for your passion for God. You know what he's forgiven you of. You know what he set you free from. You know what he's brought you from, right? So don't let other people dictate how your relationship goes with God and how you enjoy this new life that God has given you. Love you guys. Be blessed and encouraged in Jesus' name.